Today marks one month since the mass shooting at Brooklyn Homes that injured 28 people and killed two others. Mayor Brandon Scott was asked for updates on the investigation during his media availability this morning. IT reporter Tali Taylor joins us now live. And Tali, the report on this mass shooting should be available pretty soon. Yeah, that's right. Richard Worley, uh, Acting Commissioner Richard Worley, is the one who set that benchmark of saying it would be ready in 30 to 45 days. And that's the report that Worley says will explain in detail how the Baltimore uh, Police Department acted leading up to, during, and after the mass shooting. Well, we've now hit that 30-day mark, so the clock is ticking. The mayor was asked if the report would be ready before the next Baltimore City Council meeting, which is scheduled to take place on August 21st. And here's what he said. I want us to be able to go through and know every single thing they knew, every action that was taken so that we can uh, respond appropriately. So I'm not going to rush them to complete that. So there won't be a rush there. How'd you follow up following this? response. Yeah, well, so I wanted to know if the mayor has seen any after action report himself, mm -hmm. if yeah. there's been anything ready. And he said, quote, uh, when uh, when you see it, I see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. And the mayor was also asked if he's frustrated that no one has been arrested for the murders. There's been an arrest, but sure. not specifically for the murders. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the mayor stood by the detectives at the BPD. He says that he has full confidence in him in them. And he also says that it takes time to do this right and not make any mistakes. Take a listen. And I've seen uh, cases where we, where folks come out and they arrest the person immediately and what happens? You've seen it happen and guess what? That person ends up walking back on the streets of Baltimore. Uh, I have the utmost confidence in the detectives who are working this case. Yeah, and the mayor, as he's done many times before this, asked the public once again, if you know something about this case, he said, please contact the BPD or his office. Yeah, another subject you, you encountered today, there was an audit at the Board of Estimates, I think. Tell us about that and the concerning details in there. Yeah, so uh, this is about, um, uh, this is about, uh, right, so th this is an audit that looks at the books for the Department of Transportation, and it found that the DOT failed to ask the federal government for reimbursement for one project over a nearly 20-year period. I asked Mayor Scott's reaction. The, the highlight of the audit was something that uh, was a contract that was passed on August the 3rd, 1998. I hadn't even started as a freshman in high school when that happened. Yeah, and the original contract was for about $2.5 million, though it's unclear uh, how much of that was unpaid during that period. Wow, all right. All right, Tally, thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me.